Right guys, as promised, uh, I'm just doing a quick video for you. Um, so this is an extension of a building in Pontiel at the minute. Um, so I thought it would be an opportunity to show you how we're insulating the walls, the, the floor and the roof, which is a flat roof in this case. So I'll start with the walls. This is a window opening. So it's a cavity wall. Uh, it's a 100 mil, 100 mil cavity and it's full filled with a mineral wool insulation. Um, so we've actually got block on both skins uh, on this particular build. On the outside because it's getting a render finish and on the inside because the customer requested block. Uh, we would normally use like a thermalite type block there, a lightweight block. You get a better U value with it. So if we look down at the damp, we've got our engineering brick to damp. Um, we've got our damp course here in the mortar joint runs along here up the cavity and back into the internal skin so this can help stop uh, any sort of pe penetrating damp coming from the outside at low level uh, on the inside we've also got our damp here which runs in the mortar joint this damp comes down and it runs down the wall and into our concrete slab so that's the wall. So the floor, the floor is a solid floor. Um, so the floor makeup, I've taken a bit of the insulation up to show you, is from the from the bottom up we've got a 150 mil of hard core. We've then got 50 mil of blinding sand, which is just sharp sand, and that's that's really well compacted. The sharp sand's there to stop any any punctures because you lay the the visqueen straight on top of the sharp sand. And then on top of the visqueen, we've then got our our concrete slab, which is a hundred mil thick uh, reinforced concrete. So that's the slab. We then we insulate this floor by laying we've laid eighty mil rigid in, rigid insulation on top of it. So you can see the full floor has been insulated with the insulation. On top of that, because it's getting under floor heating. We would lay uh, another layer of the visqueen, the damp membrane. So we'll cover the full floor and that. The, the, in, the pipe work will go on top of that. And then the floor will be screeded. So we'll pour screed on top of the pipe work. And the screed height will be finished to floor height. So we'll, ma we'll match the screed height to the existing building, which is over there. So with regards to thermal bridging on the floor, this would happen at the connection between the floor and the wall so basically basically here so where where our screed hits the wall that's potentially where it can get thermal bridging um, so the way that we would stop that and the way that is um, we would use like a thinner insulation but a, a rigid insulation so not 80 mil we might use something like 25 mil um, as like an upstand so if you imagine that's that's it there um, we would would sit that in there up against the wall like that and we'll pour our screed so that'll be all the way around the perimeter so that would stop the screed coming into contact with the with the wall so we'll stop the stop the thermal bridging um, another area of thermal bridging is obviously window and door openings so here we'd use a cavity closer which I've got here I just thought I'd show you cavity closers so basically it's got insulation inside so this is the inside, this is the bit that slips into the cavity. The other side is just plastic. So I've got a little bit here, somewhere, there. Let's show you how they go in. So you've got your cavity closer here, insulation. That goes into the cavity, like that. Slots in and you can secure that on the edges with some clout nails or something like that. So, yeah, that caps the cavity, stops any thermal bridging. So, the roof, we've got a, this, this is a flat roof above. So, timber joists, um, on top of the timber joists we've got our furrings. So you can see the wider there, they've run down to nothing. So that gets you the fall. So you, it looks like there's no insulation in the roof, but basically it's all on top. It's a warm deck roof. So we've got our, on top of the furrings, we've got 18mm plywood. 
On top of that we've got 125mm of rigid insulation um, and on top of that we've got 18mm of OSB board and that's what we put our roof covering on top of. Uh, this one's getting a GRP fiberglass roof covering. Um, we've got an opening there to get a, a glass lantern as well. So it's a, it's a really well, insula well insulated roof. Um, so that's that, I hope that helps.